That's true with a GH. We did Leia. Judge, Judge Sim. Should we try and play this in a different language? What languages we got? As always, future as always, you know. All right, how much money I got? $200 to my name. Oh yeah, we got breaking news. The cartel. You know some German slay. French. That's Lee. Lee, really? Interesting. Bro, the English language is crazy. I don't even pretend to know how to understand it. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Always, Madonna, but only towards you. All right, let's see what we got. We got Germ Germany. Jeremy. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Alder. We've had Alders up in here before. He has a criminal record. He passed his mental health exam. Um, Never, Madonna. Never. And we got Mike Byrne, who also has a criminal record, and he passed his test. So, slay. Good for them. Good night, Trey. Love you so much. Sleep well. Have a good day tomorrow. See you later. Okay. Drug trafficking, taking part in organized crime activities. Okay. Pickup truck in which Jeremy and Mike were traveling was stopped during a police stop. As a result of the searches, large number of drugs and weapons were seized from the vehicle and used by Jeremy and Mike. As a result of the identity check and investigation, it was understood that Jeremy and Mike were both members of the Sicilia cartel. Stop coughing in my courtroom. If you got COVID, go home. True shape, true, true Vedana. Jeremy's statement. I don't deny that we were transporting drugs. It was our duty to get them across the border. That is a crazy thing to say to the police, but okay. But in the course of that duty, the mafia, in collaboration with our cartel, apparently sold us out. If we are going to jail, we will reveal their identities one by one. Mike said it was at least five times bigger than our previous deliveries. The risk was as great as the return, but the mafia executives who had made a deal with our cartel told us that they would eliminate the risk and that they were cooperating with the police and that the shipment would be successful. All they wanted was the necessary... Girl, don't tell me there's a fly in here, bro. All they wanted was the necessary share of these shipments, but now I realize that they were working behind our backs. Well, not yet. I'm just trying to protect myself and my fam. Okay. This one goes here. This one goes here. This one goes second to last. This one just goes straight across. This one goes here. This one goes here. Perfect. All right, let's look at the evidence. What was seized after the operation? Whatever that is. I don't know what that is. And two submachine guns. Okay, that's not very helpful. Any digital evidence? No digital evidences. Do I ever get emails? Girl, I'll never get emails. Nobody likes me. Oh, what's this? We're offering you $500 to release Jeremy and Mike. This money will make your job easier. We will ensure that you are not affected by the decision you make. Ooh, are we taking a bribe, bro? It's definitely drugs, because that's what they said. Ooh. Sounds fair. Okay, but here's the thing. We have a high chance of getting assassinated if we do things like this. That's what I'm saying. $500 does not seem like very much. Like, maybe 1000 Then we're talking. 550 or not. Okay, so we put them in jail. We're not letting these, these hooligans run free. Not for $500. Offer me more money, goobers. Okay, um, smuggling. 
arms, drug trafficking. Ooh, 24 years in jail and 75, seven, 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 whoa. Are we giving them the full sentence? That's an insane amount of, for drug trafficking? That's crazy. Bro, they take drug trafficking more seriously than human trafficking. That is effed up, bro. That is messed up. Nah, no, that's crazy. 24 years in jail, 750, fine. Oh, we could talk to him. If you cooperate and reveal all the cartel members, I will do my best to get you the minimum sentence. Will you cooperate? No, I don't think so. You say the mafia double-crossed you, but do you have proof of their involvement? No, I don't have any evidence to offer at the moment, but soon our cartel will sort it out. If you expose the names of the mafia members, who do you think double-crossed you in court right after you... You can be sure that I will punish them too. Are we going to help each other with this? We don't trust your judgment or your help. We don't need anyone. Our cartel will sort this out. Really? Great. So you're getting the full sentence then. Full sentence. Just for the sass you just gave me. Just for that sass you gave me? Full. Full. 24 years in jail. And 700... And $750,000 fine. Just for that sass, bro. Just for that sass. You too, Mike. You too, Mike. Nah, not my courtroom. I will not take the disrespect. I will not take the disrespect, bro. And they offered me $5,000 or $500 as a bribe, bro. That's ch that's cheap money. That's nothing. Big, big no. Hello, ma'am. Oh, my chance of assassination went up by 25%. I don't know how serious that is. All right, let's see who we got here. We got Sophia Bonson. She has no criminal record. She passed her mental health test. Fraud. She has charges of fraud. Okay. Recent, uh, recently, Denise, not going to even try to say her last name, wanted to have um, adult time with Sophia, whom he thought was a prostitute in exchange for money. In the telephone conversation, Sophia requested a certain amount of money and asked Dennis to deposit it into her account. Dennis did not receive any return after depositing the money. Afterwards, he reported the situation to the police and filed a complaint against Sophia. Soon after, Sophia was arrested and detained at her resident address. Okay, this is the dude's statement. I broke up with my girlfriend about two and a half years ago, and during that time, I had no adult time with anyone. This affected me psychologically, and I thought that for my health, I could have a relationship with a... Uh, prostitute I found on an app on the internet. I called the number provided. It was then sent to a bank account and I deposited the $200. Bro, that's it? In a way, I would only charge $200. That's insane. I have mentioned on the phone into the bank account. She sent me and sent her the receipt. Then I realized that they had blocked my phone number. I tried to reach them for quite a while, but I couldn't. The amount I paid is not very important, but I can't bear that these people are fooling others. That's why I decided to start to commence in action. To commence in action. Oh my gosh, I can't read. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back, Mindless. Just, you know, just dealing with just some some fraud, adult time fraud. It's a good time. Welcome in. Sophia says, this is her statement. First of all, I'm not a prostitute. I never have been. My phone rang recently. A stranger asked me how much my fee was. At first, I didn't understand. But then, thinking I was being made fun of, I told him that my hour cost $200. He asked how he could make the payment. I sent him my bank account, and then I realized that I had $200 in my account. When I realized it was a serious misunderstanding, I blocked the number. Girl! Nah. You're tweaking. If it really was just a misunderstanding... Why would you block the number after? Why would you not just give the money back? That 
that's actually crazy. Inexplicably, I realized that my phone number was circulating on the internet on explicit sites. I recently changed my number. Nah, girl, you're tweaking. I don't buy that for a second. I don't buy this for a second. Oh boy, I hate these ones. These always take so long because I always pick the last ones last. Yup, see, last one last. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, oh. Ah. Right, but like, I don't know. Seems like, seems like if you really felt bad about it though, like I wouldn't feel bad about it, but if she's trying to play the guilt card, like I felt bad, I was just a misunderstanding. Then like, that's one thing. Dang it. You know? That's true. This is fair. Okay, amount $200 from Dennis to Sophia. The receipt for the money. Okay. W receipt. Telephone conversation. Hello. Hi. What is your fees? $200 per hour, $500 per night. Which one do you want? An hour, please. How do I make the payment? I will send you the bank account and you can deposit the fee there. Okay, I'll get back to you after the deposit. See you. See you later. All right, future, sleep well. Have a good day tomorrow. See ya, see ya. I wonder, so is prostitution legalized in our country? Like, is that an offense? It seems like it's fine. Hi, Five. How are you doing? Incoming ad break, by the way. I'm just trying to... I just don't know if it's allowed... I Yes, it depends on where you are. I just don't know if it's allowed in our little Banana Republic country. You know? It seems like it is, because I don't think it's... Like, none of this is... None of this has it included, so I don't need to punish her for the... Don't need to pu punish for the prostitution. Is it Madonna? I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. I don't know. Okay. So, fraud. Where would fraud... Not homicide, theft, maybe? Fraud. Ten years, four years. I feel like four years in jail is like kind of crazy for a first time offense. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I didn't think it was. Four years in jail seems like a lot. Like, I don't think she necessarily deserves that. Maybe two years. What do we think about two years? Oh, that makes sense because of Las Vegas. Right. <laughs> yeah, shout out Las Vegas. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Gross indeed. I agree. Um, Two years? I wonder if I'm going to get in trouble for that. I feel like she doesn't deserve four years, bruh. That seems like a lot, but she definitely needs to be punished. Unfortunately, Sophia... I've had this happen to me. Just kidding. Um, I have been scammed out of money before. Have I? Kind of. Kind of. Shout out LV. Wait, what? What am I shouting out? Slay! I got a raise. Got a raise. I got a raise. Whew. Okay. Hopefully I don't get in too much trouble for that. I just feel like she didn't deserve four years. I feel like four years is insane. For scamming someone out of $200, like, not worth. Shout out 
Should we try one of these things? Let's try the casino. What's blackjack? Does anyone know how to play blackjack? I've never played blackjack before. I don't know how to play blackjack. Wheel of Fortune? They brought what to court? Prostitution to court? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, so this is the dollars. Okay, wait, should I do blackjack instead? We can try blackjack. One dollar, let's go. Oh, I vaguely, okay, 14. You're trying to get to 24, 24, right? I vaguely remember this. Okay. Yes, I'm gambling one dollar, 21, okay. So I think I'm gonna take another card. Ooh. Are we staying there? I like the music up in here. Okay. We're at 19. Are we taking another one or are we staying? That's... Nah, we're staying. No! This is rigged, bruh. This is rigged. No, I think that this is rigged. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that thing is rigged. Because they got right on 21. There's no way. There's no way they got right on 21, bro. Let's do a dollar on each of them. Because I don't know how this works either. Spin! It's still spinning. That's so true, Vidana. That's why I don't do it IRL, bruh. Oh, I have to press stop. LOL. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Professional Gambler Award. All right, I'm back to exactly where I started. Oh, no, I'm not. I lost $4 in my gambling for the day. Like, there's no way. It's definitely rigged in this game because there's no way. There's absolutely no chance that I got 19 and then the opposite people got exactly 21. There's no way. Yeah. Dang it! I did mess up my reliability. But I feel like four years for $200 was absolutely insane, bro. Ooh, anyway. Ahmed L. Min. He has no criminal record, passed his mental health test. That's actually very possible. Yeah. My VR casino game. Okay, human trafficking? Bruh. You're going to jail for life, buddy. Late at night, while the police were inspecting at the border of the city of Kairos, a person named Ahmed was, did not comply with the stop warning and tried to bypass. Police officers pursued the vehicle driven by Ahmed, who fled from the police stop. As a result of a long chase, the person who entered the gas station got out of the vehicle and tried to escape on foot, was caught and detained by a police officer after a while. A large number of foreign nationals were detected in this vehicle. Oh, nah, bruh. Mindless, bro. I keep getting, I keep getting, I get ads for that kind of stuff all the time. The candlelit studio, 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 studio Ghibli music. Bro, that sounds so fun. Mindless, we had our fifth wedding anniversary this year and we were gonna like go on a little trip and stuff. We never did, bruh. Both of our gifts are still just like sitting here. We never did nothing. And it's only been five years, like. I don't know. It is, Madonna, it really is. So, maybe if anybody can think of a day trip that we could do. Okay. Ahmad, Ahmed, Ahmed, I don't know. I don't know how to say that. What 
What you mean, zombie? What you mean? Girl, that sounds so fun. What what anniversary is this for you guys? I think I, if I can make it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what anniversary is this for you, Mindless? Okay, here's his statement. Um Oh, I'm not, no. I think that I think that this Studio Ghibli candlelit thing is like a traveling thing. Cause I think when it was by me. I got ads for it. Like I think it's like a traveling thing. Cause I'm not I'm not near there. Um I am aware that it is dangerous and forbidden for me to do this work, but I am unemployed and penniless for a very long time, so I had to do it. The work and process was very difficult for me, and I was so nervous that when I saw the police officers, I panicked and tried to run away. It was all to show my family that I could earn some money. I am aware of my guilt. I accept it, and I'm very sorry. Well, good news for you. You're going to be penniless, but you're going to be in a jail, so it's okay. You'll get meals. You'll be fine. Facial recognition of him driving the vehicle. Bro. Invest in your retirement. <laughs> Not the retirement, bruh. Okay, let's talk to him. Did your family know about your actions and job due to financial constraints and embarrassment? No, your honor. I haven't been doing this for a long time. I needed money, money urgently, and I wanted to do this because it's a fast money business. Why didn't you want to or couldn't get a regular job? I tried, but the conditions of jobs I worked were very difficult, and employers usually did not hire me because I was inexperienced, so I felt I had to prove myself to my family. But who offered you this job? After hearing from a friend about the opportunity for quick earnings, I independently researched and began transporting migrants by car. Okay, so it's not like human blank trafficking. It's just they're immigrants. They're not like... Okay, so that's better. I'm not going to put them away for life, I guess. Um... 8 or 12. Do you have a criminal record? He has no criminal record. Alright, we'll put him in for t for 8. Sorry, buddy. Your family will be okay, though. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Sorry about this. Um, don't smuggle humans. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you, friend. Do, 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 do. In the dark of the night, your sleep is interrupted by the sound of knocking on the door? Oh, nah. We're gonna get assassinated. I'm sorry, zombie. Look through the hole or wait quietly. What could go wrong? You see a masked man. Freaking call the police. Don't open the door. Girl, they're trying to kill me. Oh, no. Nah, bruh. Do I get to know what happened? Should I request a special guard? How much is it? I don't have enough for that, bruh. I don't got enough for a special guard. All right, never mind. We just got to hope for the best. Ooh. No, not the wisdom teeth removal. Oh, you're fine, mindless. No worries. Well, that's fun. I'm glad you guys get to do something big and fun. Bro, our first wedding anniversary was during COVID, so we didn't get to do anything either. Fun. That's awesome. Is your, like, is your, like, regular, is your, uh, regular anniversary close to your wedding anniversary? Or, like, um, I don't know what the rest of that question was going to be. I think that was the the whole question i guess okay nope fun cool i don't even remember ours is our wedding is in june our regular is like well okay the regular anniversary is up for debate i guess because we kind of officially started dating in like august 
but we were basically already dating like all the way back that beginning like February anyway up for debate what do you mean zombie what do you need what do you think you're needing okay here's our case Damage lawsuit filed by Brooklyn against multinational company that develops and sells Lapel Consumer Electronics. Burnt battery of Lapel brand phones that belongs to Plankton. That's probably a good idea, Zombie. I think that's a smart way to think. Hoy! Appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, recently a person named Brooklyn Troys purchased a mobile phone from a dealer of the Pell company. He claimed that during the period of use, his phone was not charged with an adapter other than its own charger. While using the phone, while it was charging, the battery inside it exploded and caused physical damage around the hand and face of Brooklyn. Brooklyn, who reported the situation to Lapel authorized service, um, did not receive the response he expected and filed a lawsuit for compensation of $500,000. Um, here's Brooklyn's statement. What kind of stuff are we talking, zombie? What kind of stuff are you talking about? Um, exactly two months and 13 days ago, I went to the lapel dealer near my house to buy a phone. I bought a model I liked and started using the phone. During this time, while using the phone, I never charged it with anything other than the charger that came in the box. While I was charging my phone, its battery suddenly exploded, and in addition to the sudden damage to my hand, parts of the phone also hit my face. Afterwards, I called the company and explained the situation and expected at least an apology, but it was not, that, not what I expected. They told me that this was a user error and hung up the phone on me, so I filed a lawsuit to demand my rights. We definitely, okay, this is from the company, I guess. We definitely do not hold ourselves responsible for the incident. Our products have been subjected to dozens of tests and our engineers have reported that it is, was not, it is not possible to give such a reaction when charged with the correct adapter, with the current adapter, cur current adapter? or a more powerful adapter. We believe this incident occurred as a result of a transaction that the consumer did not report and is an action designed to tarnish our brand. No, zombie, don't be talking that. Don't be talking that. You don't need that, bro. You don't need that. We were just talking the other day how you haven't had stuff for years. Okay. Evidence, phone conversation between Brooklyn and the company. I'm Tiffany. Can I ask for your name so I can help you better? My name is Brooklyn. The phone I bought from your dealer about two and a half months ago exploded in my hand. Can you explain how this happens? I'm sorry. Did you say the battery exploded? Yes, even though I only used the adapter and charging cable that came in the box. That's not possible, Mr. Brooklyn. I think it's your fault. It cannot be from us. Is there anything else I can help you with? Bruh, W customer service. Okay. What do you mean it's not possible? It happened. Am I lying? Unfortunately, I can't help you. Have a nice day. Bruh, that's crazy. Nah, y'all tweaking, bruh. <sighs> has, uh, the company has stated that you are responsible for responsible for the incident what do you think i cannot agree with them on this i explained to them in detail how the incident happened and what i went through they didn't even take my explanation into consideration um brooklyn stated that stated in his statement that you did not make him oh my gosh i can't read bro that you did not take him into consideration do you think this is the case no your honor we are a reputable company with high customer satisfaction. We just didn't think his statements were true because we put our products through dozens of tests. We stated that such an incident could only be due to con customer error. No, zombie. Don't do it, bro. You're going to get addicted. Then you're going to have to really spend all your money on all that kind of stuff because you're going to get addicted to it. So just don't even take that first step and then you don't have to worry about it no don't do it no okay 
Brooklyn was found right and the compensation was pa um, was paid. Brooklyn was found to be deceitful. I don't think he's deceitful, bruh. And the money for the phone was returned. Nah, I think y'all owe him big money. Y'all owe him big money. Thank you, Mindless. Hey, is everybody okay? After we almost got assassinated yesterday. We chillin'. We chillin'. Week five. We're flying through these weeks, bro. Okay. No, zombie. Bro, we will continue this conversation later. All right, we got Brad Cold. He has a criminal record, passes mental health test. Assassination. Oh, boy, buckle up. Here we go. Victims named Jeremy and Mike were found dead in their prison rooms. <gasps> Those are the people that... Uh... Yes, listen to what Mindless said, bro. If you're even still here. Bro, oopsies. I sent those people to jail, and now they're dead. Doesn't seem like my bad, though. Seems like um, the guards in the jail should have been doing a better job. Not my problem. Good. Mindless, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. Glad for you. Um, it was determined that the security cameras of the floor where the incident took place were not working at the time of the incident. Of course. The person named Brad, who stayed in the same room with the victims, was brought to the police station to take his statement. Here's his statement. I only spent two days with them. I didn't have any problems or fights. Like me, they spoke very little. Why would I want to kill them? If I were to do this, I wouldn't be in the cell where there is room, making me a suspect. I have paid and am paying the penalty for my crimes. I'm not guilty in this incident. The reason I'm here is theft. I've never killed anyone in my life. The night they died, I slept before them. Even though I heard a few voices during the night, I thought they were delirious as usual. Bro, I high key think this was an inside job by the police, bruh. I don't think that this was... I don't think that this was... Um... Okay, that's not the right way to go. I don't think that this was this was him. I think it was an inside job by the police. The roses! The roses again, bro. The roses again, bro. Mm. This has got to be some mafia type something, bro. No digital evidence. Ooh. Um... It was time to remind such big companies about the existence of consumer rights. You are a folk hero. <gasps> Yay! Uh, people like me. That's so cool. Okay. Um, I don't think he's guilty, bro. There's no evidence that proves it's him. I think people are trying to plant it on him. I think it was an inside job. I think you're fine, bro. Keep keep living out your duty for your theft, but you're fine. Brad, you're good. You're good, Brad. You're good. Nah, there's some sort of insider business going on. Oh! I got a raise. 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 Oh, what does she want? Your daughter wants a smartphone? $700? Bro, how much do you think my sanity is going to drop? Girl don't need a cell phone. How old is she? Like 11? She don't need a smartphone, bruh. Nah, girl. You don't need one. How much did my sanity drop? 75? Girl. 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 Girl.
longer. Time to go to the bar and raise that up. Um, thirty dollars. Thank you, ma'am. Alcoholic judge? No, I ain't alcoholic. I was just trying to. I, okay, my bad. Seven hundred dollars, girl. We gotta pay the rent and stuff, bruh. Can't be doing all that. Oh golly, there's so many people here. Okay, here we go. Sally John Morgan sued his tenant Daisy Taylor to evict her for not paying her rent on time. Oh boy, here we go. This is always such drama. Legal action has been taken against Daisy by Sally for being three months late with her rent. The host, Sally, says that the tenant is in breach of the tenancy agreement. The host demands that the tenant vacate the property and pay the debts owed by the tenant with interest. Sally says, my tenant has not paid me a single penny for three months. Even though I warn her many times, she keeps stalling. As if there were not enough, this constantly... They constantly bring their friends to the house and make noise that disturbs the neighbors. I brought my neighbor who lives downstairs as a witness so that you can believe me on this matter. Charles, who's the witness, says, whatever Mr. Morgan says is true. Bruh, why would you say it like that? Don't believe you. Daisy said, it's true that I have not been able to pay the landlord for a while, but I have to. I had to quit my job and I can't afford to pay right now. I told him that it was not an arbitrary situation and that I would pay him when I received my unemployment benefit. However, he is trying to get me kicked out of the house somehow. It's a complete lie that we make too much noise with my friends. Since my downstairs neighbor is a tenant of Mr. Morgan, he obeys his orders. Okay, here we go. The tenant. Okay, this is really helpful. Thank you. That's great. That's great. That's great. Okay, let's talk to him. Mr. Morgan, is it true that Charles, your downstairs neighbor, whom you called as a witness, is your tenant? That's true, Your Honor, but I don't understand its relevance. Mr. Goodman, is it true that your upstairs neighbor and her friends make so much noise that they disturb you? sound noises oh yes i remember normandy coats the voices are echoing in my ears the smell of gunpowder and the sound of bullet casings a c a two oh he's sneezing could you please answer the question mr goodman whatever mr morgan says is true okay i don't trust him bruh miss taylor you said your statement that your landlord tried to get you evicted why do you think that is He's trying to evict me and raise the rent, but he can't do this because we have a contract. Normally, I would never miss my rent, but this getting fired thing was unfortunate for me. They played into his hands. Well. I wish I could, like, read this clear and see what the agreement is. So, your witness is crap. First of all, Mr. Sally, your witness is crap. He probably has dementia. Um, but Daisy, I think it's been three months. I don't want to have to evict her, though. I feel bad, but like contracts are contracts you know like i don't contracts are contracts you gotta you gotta you gotta follow them daisy i do feel really bad for you girl but i can't i gotta you gotta go girl you can't you can't just be not paying your rent rent unfortunately Bill passed. Immigrants who commit crime will now be deported. Cool beans. 
Good to know. Good to know. All right, what we got here? Connor, um, he has a criminal me record. Mental health is fine. He is a member of this country. Okay, participating in street racing, violation of traffic and safety rules. All righty, buddy. With a name like Connor, kind of, kind of saw it coming. Okay. Recently, traffic police came across a street race while on patrol and followed suspicious vehicles. After a long chase, the person named Connor had an accident with the vehicle he was driving. After his accident, he was taken to the hospital by the traffic police, and after his treatment, he was arrested and detained. Except for Connor, no driver was caught by the police. Connor says, first of all, I'm not a street racer. I have no connection with other vehicles. I was just passing by in my sports car. All I did was increase my speed to get away from other vehicles as soon as possible. My only crime is that I was speeding. It has nothing to do with racing. Interesting. Interesting. Two cents. All right. I think that's... um. Maybe not the best statement you could have made. All right, what's our evidence? What do we got? Girl was going 224 kilometers per hour. How much is that in miles per hour? Uh, the license plate belonging to the vehicle located. Okay, I don't know why I need the license plate, but slay. What's, okay, 224 kilometers per hour in miles per hour. hundred thirty-nine. Golly gee. Girl, yeah, you were speeding bad, bruh. I fear you might have been a little bit of a, of, ra of a racer up in here, my guy. Daisy mad at me. It was really good for me that you got me kicked out of the house when I was going through such a difficult situation. Can you tell me how to get by on the streets as a girl? I hope you have a daughter and she falls into the same situation. If you have a daughter and you still had me thrown out of the house, I would like to say that I'm very sorry for your daughter. I hope he gets rid of you soon. Hmm. Thanks, Daisy. I don't know what to tell you, Daisy. You weren't paying your rent, bruh. Let's talk to him. Connor, you stated in your statement that you're not a street racer. Why did you run away from the pol when the police tried to stop you? Your honor, I thought the police stopped me because I was speeding. I ran away to avoid a traffic ticket. You have, you have been street racing in the past and got caught. Do you have an explanation for this? Your honor, this time it's pure coincidence. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all. And why was your license plate inside of the trunk of your car? Because I took my license plate off to get my car painted and I forgot to put it on. You're full of bull crap, bro. Full of bull crap. Street racing and violation. He's got both of them. Do you have a criminal record, my guy? You do. You do, you do. Street racing and girl, you got all the bad things. Okay, two, four years in jail, and what's okay? I gotta do some math here. Two, two plus four plus four plus fifteen. Oh man, ah, stop. Plus fifteen thousand is thirty-seven fifty. Bro, I really... You gotta get your act together, bro. You're full of crap. You're full of crap. Gotta get your act together. You're getting four years jail time. And maybe this will teach you this time. 37. Maybe this will teach you. Maybe this will teach you. Absolutely insane, bro. Absolutely insane. We don't need to be acting like this. Do, 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 do,
Helen Lona's mobile phone was stolen while she was walking on 23 Victoria Street. Camera footage of the place called Hofi Vic located where the incident took place was examined. In line with the investigations, it has been concluded that the person in the images is named Adrian Bowman. Adrian Bowman was detained by police for questioning while he was going to the market where he worked. Helen said, I was walking on 23 Victorian uh, Street where I walk on certain days of the week. By that day, I decided to walk in the opposite direction to the direction I normally walk. While everything was going well, someone suddenly took my phone from my hand. I couldn't even react because of the surprise and fear I felt at the time. After I put myself together, I asked for help from those around me. Adrian said, in the evening, I was close. I, I closed the daily gross market where I work and walk into the opposite direction of my house. My wife and I were constantly arguing due to financial concerns, and my children did not have much peace of mind. Because of these events, I was very confused and had difficulty thinking clearly. Suddenly, I saw the woman walking in front of me and noticed that she was carrying a phone in her hand. The phone looked very luxurious and expensive. Because of the difficulties I was experiencing, this phone seemed like a very attractive opportunity to me. I thought that if I could sell it, I could at least alleviate financial concerns a little. Without any plan, I reflexively grabbed the phone from the woman's hand and started running. Afterwards, I turned off the phone and put it in my pocket and went home. Okay, so he, like... He's, like... Straight up admitted to it. Straight up admitted to it, so... Unfortunately... Oh, theft... This is extortion, right? Technically... Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. They're saying this is extortion, not just theft. Yeah, extortion. I don't think I even do anything two years. Because I think that he just has to be deported now, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. Rules are rules. I gotta, I gotta raise though. Rules are rules. Rules are rules. Do what does the wife want? Your wife wants a car. A weekly payment of $1,000 would be a total of 15 weeks of payment. Once accepted, the first installment is paid right away. Your sanity will drop severely if you don't accept this. Current average weekly household expenses. Bro, do I make enough for that? I don't know if I make enough for that, but we're gonna find out, I guess. Bomb attack on the parliament! The cartel carried out a bomb attack on the parliament building. 19 civilians lost their lives and two members of parliament were injured. The leader of the cartel was caught. <gasps> Ooh, after the attack, law of execution was accepted. Those who are on trial for terrorism and other severe crimes will be executed. Bro, we can execute people now? Nah, I don't want to hold that much power, bro. I don't want to hold that much power. Juan Carlos. Woo, criminal record. Okay, here we go. Terrorism, organized crime activities. Recently, 19 civilians lost their lives and two MPs were seriously injured in the bomb attack on Parliament. During this attack, four people thought to be members of the cartel blew themselves up. Um, as a result of extensive searches, ten people thought to be members of the cartel were caught. A few of the cartel members became confessors in the cases in which they were tried. They disclosed the identity of Juan Carlos, um, the manager of the cartel, and the planner of the attack. As a result, the operations of the operations, the person named Juan Carlos was caught in a forest house outside of the city. 
Those responsible for the events are the corrupted state and their collaborators, the mafia. They are the ones who force us to do this. Jeremy and Mike, may they rest in peace now. Nah, buddy. Buddy. Yes, sir, I'm listening to you. Go and destroy that parliament. Sir, don't you think that would be... Since when have my orders been questioned? Okay, sir, as you wish. Man... Man, oh man. Seems not... Okay, so we got a cartel situation. We have a mafia situation. And... Where does terrorism fit under? Organized crimes. Criminal activities. 24 years in jail. Narcotic. Cyber. Is this it? Terrorism. I fear, buddy. Unfortunately, this might be the end for you. You gotta go on death row, my guy. Rest in peace. May you rest in peace. Um, it's a fake game anyway. It's fine. May she rest in peace. Or, I mean he. May he rest in peace. Justice has been served. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, everybody likes, everybody liked my decision. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good, good, good. All right. Who's still hanging out around here? Should we play something else? Should we... What should we do? Are we still vibing with this? Can I ask my cousin if she wants to play some dress to impress with me? I like this music. Oh, we never listen this long to get the little trumpet action. Okay. Okay. Let's do another day at least. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty, what have we got here? Filing a compensation lawsuit against Robin who caused Henry to have a traffic accident. Okay, Henry William was allegedly pushed into the barriers by Robin Hudson while he was riding his motorcycle in traffic, causing him to have an accident. Dang, I'm glad he's okay. After the accident, Henry William remained in a coma for 42 days. Bruh, rip. Henry William demands $250,000 from Robin Hudson as material and moral comp compensation for the pain he has experienced. Henry said, I was driving my motorcycle in traffic. I wanted to overtake the vehicle in front of me. She started to approach me while I was overtaking her. I got stuck in the barrier and suddenly lost the balance on my motorcycle and rolled over. The only thing I remember afterwards was that I was in great pain. I think she did this on purpose because she didn't even stop and help after she caused this. Bro, she fled the scene? Okay, she says, I was driving in my own lane in traffic, I was very stressed because I found out that my mother was hospitalized and I was trying to get to the hospital as soon as possible. My mother has cancer and her condition is serious. I didn't notice what was happening during the accident. The motorcycle must have been in my blind spot. I later learned that I was being taken to court. If I had noticed the accident, I definitely would have stopped and helped. I did not violate any traffic rules. I don't think it's my fault. Interesting. It seems it kind of was just a... He might have just been in the blind spot, bro. Okay, let's talk to him. Mr. Williams, you realize you were violating the lane and car in front of you, right? Your Honor, I even honked my horn before she overtook. There was no way she didn't see me. What upsets me is that she could have killed me, but she chose to flee at the time of the incident. Mrs. Hudson, it is highly unlikely that you did not notice the motorcyclist on your left rearview mirror at the time of the incident. 
didn't you at least hear a sound? Your Honor, at the moment, I was totally thinking about my mother. I was in the left lane, so I didn't need to look in the left mirror, and I didn't hear the sounds because the windows were closed. This one's a toughie. This one's a toughie. I don't, I don't, okay, either way, I'm going to get a nasty email from whoever I don't, whoever I don't side with. I fear that that's just inevitable. Um, I think that... I don't know. I mean, it's at this point, it's just taking her, taking whose word over whose. But he was, in fact, breaking traffic laws to do what he did. She should have stopped. But I don't know. It was good looking. Probably the girl is better looking. I'm denying it. I'm denying it. Denied. Right. Okay, who have we got here? Nathan Lake. No criminal record. He is okay. Good mental health. He is a a, a citizen. Involuntary manslaughter. I don't know how to say this name. Ooh. A person named took his baby who was having a difficult having difficulty breathing to the hospital. After the MRI, it was seen that there was a metal object in the baby's stomach. Nathan, the baby's doctor, ooh, we got the doctor on trial, said that the object should be removed surgically. The surgery was performed with the family's approval, and Nathan stated to the family that the surgery went well. The baby experienced breathing difficulties sometime after he was discharged and died less than 24 hours later. Oh my gosh. As a result of the autopsy, a gauze that was forgotten during the surgery was found in the baby's stomach. Oh. The autopsy report confirms that the baby died as a result of the forgotten gauze. Thereupon, the baby's father filed a complaint against the doctor, Nathan. Dang. Okay, here's the father. We realized that our baby was having difficulty breathing and we went to the hospital. Nathan, who was the doctor there, told us that the MRI was needed. After the MRI results, the doctor said that our baby had a metal object in the stomach, needed to be operated on immediately. After the surgery, he said that it was a very successful surgery. When we came home shortly after our baby was discharged, we realized that our baby could not breathe again. We tried to take him to the hospital again, but it was too late when we got there. I asked for an autopsy report because I was curious about the cause of death. I learned that the cause of death was the gauze left in our baby's stomach during the surgery, and I filed a complaint. Okay. Thank you so much for your statement that literally just said all the same stuff that we just talked about. Okay. Nathan said, first of all, I accept my mistake, and I'm very sorry that this incident happened. When I learned that the baby died as a result of my carelessness, I could not come to my senses for a long time. I don't care about the punishments I will receive. My only wish is for the family to forgive me. I am distraught. Well, W guy. W guy for having um, recognized his mistakes. Involuntary manslaughter. Four years jail time, right? I think he's got to do it. Got to pay the price, I guess. Why the $5 fine? Four years jail time. Unfortunately, buddy. I'm sorry, man. I got to do it. Got to do it. Slay, gotta raise. Do, 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 do. Tax, okay. Dang, I wish I had low taxes like that. By golly. 
You paid the negative fee reflected in your balance from your wallet. Okay, slay. Um, so I have like no money, bruh. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, we're just gonna vibe with it and hope for the best. We don't have the money because of your dumb car. We don't have the money, bro. I don't know what happens when my mental health goes down. I don't know if that makes it like harder for me to do things or great googly moogly. We got the Joker up in here. Okay. Hey. Wow. All right, David Crane. No criminal record. He do be insane. Armed robbery. Recently, a person named David Crane entered the pharmacy where Mary Evan worked, pointed a gun at her, and demanded the money in the safe. Mary gave the money to the uh, in the safe to David and then informed the police. Not long after, David was caught and taken into custody at the house of his brother, Victor. Okay. The lady working said he quickly came to the pharmacy and headed to the counter. Even though the weather was hot, I noticed that he was wearing a thick coat. When he came to the counter, he immediately pulled out a gun and said, if you love your life, give me the money. <laughs> then he took the money I gave him, hit the shelves, and ran away. Immediately after the incident, I notified the police and asked for help. David said, I didn't do anything. Why are you arresting me? He apologizes for what he did, but don't you understand that we need it? This is everything he told me to do was for our good. He ca we can't lose him. He needs the money and those after him will never stop. I need to see my brother. I need to make sure my brother is okay. I haven't been sure about this for a long time. I haven't been able to be with you for a long time. Okay, here's the brother. He says, my brother is mentally unstable. I woke up in the hospital the day they beat me because I owed some money. When I woke up, David was with me. Even though I wasn't, even though I was sure that I had not informed anyone, I asked how he knew. He told me to come here. He said to me, two days later, he brought me some money to pay off the debt, but he didn't say where he got it. I didn't think he was crazy enough to commit robbery. Please do not punish David. Girl, what is this? How do I do this? Oh, I see. Oh man, this is gonna take forever, bruh. I guess I didn't need to do that, but... Where's the last one? Wait a minute. I'm confused. Okay, wait. We did. We're good. Okay. We need the little finger guys over here now. I don't know why these look like fingers to me, but they do. So. Well, that's not going to work. Okay, got the fingers over there. And now we need these guys over here. And these guys on this one. How do I, do they all, gotta all be down like this? Oh yeah, okay. Gotta put them all down by one. I like this one. It's kind of fun. Okay. Took too much effort though. Okay, gun found in David's coat. Mental health medication found in his coat. Okay, there was also digital evidence. Okay, of him at the place. Okay. Poor guy just seems...
seems he does need some 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 mental help. Send him for some treatment. We'll send him to get some treatment. Get some treatment, my guy. Do 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 do. Do 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 ba do boo do boo. Oh jeez, I already know this one's gonna be a lot of reading. Tommy Cooper, non-compliance with the contract with J.J. Richardson, owner of Holy Paper Publishing. Okay, we got a contract violation. Tommy Cooper has made an agreement with the publishing house called Holy Paper to publish his book, The Helplessness of Words, which he released two months ago. According to the agreement... Um, he declared he would pay $250,000 to J.J. Richardson if the book did not reach 10,000 sales within two months. As of now, his book has sold 10,276 copies, but it has been proven by the publishing house that the book has received more than 300 copies on behalf of his sister, Ashley Cooper. In this case, J.J. Richardson demands Tommy Cooper to pay his debt. Ashley Cooper, Tommy Cooper's sister, is a witness in this case. Okay, Bill, the helpless 300. Yup. Yup. Any digital? No digital. Okay. Let's talk to him. Mr. Richardson ultimately sold 10,000 books. You didn't state in the contract that Ashley Cooper shouldn't buy the book, did you? We didn't specify your honor, but this is pure fraud. If he had not made his sister buy the book 300 times, it would not have exceeded the stated sales figure. Whiz whiz, come here. Whizzy whizzy. Hi, good bud. Mrs. Cooper, did your brother tell you to buy the book? Your honor, my brother just informed me that his book is out. I wanted to buy the book in large quantities to support him and give it as a gift to the people around me. Hmm. Bro, I think they're tweaking. He hit the sales. It doesn't matter who bought it. It don't matter who bought it. He hit the sales. That's not fraud, bro. Nah, they're tweaking. They're tweaking. Tweaking. Tweaking, tweaking. Ooh, this guy looks like a bad guy. Sergey. He doesn't have a criminal record. Other stuff is good. Assassination and high treason. Recently, a person named Merg Blitz was involved in an accident with her own vehicle and died at the scene. Merg Blitz, who completed her shift at the company called Lid Cop, set out to go home in her own car. While she was driving, a truck coming from the opposite lane crashed into the vehicle of the person named Merg Blitz. During the investigation carried out by the police, arriving at the scene, a crowbar was found in Merg Blitz's vehicle. The driver... All right, see you later, Madonna. See you later, see you later. If they claim they sold those books to the receivers. No, she just bought the books. She didn't like send them, sell, sell them back or anything. She just bought the books. She just bought them. Sleep, uh, you're not sleeping, Madonna. Have a good day, Madonna. Um. The driver, uh, the driver of the pickup truck involved in the accident could not be found. The bag that should have been in the vehicle and containing important government information could not be found. As a result of the autopsy performed on the person named Merg, um, it was concluded that she did not die at the time of the accident and that she was killed with the help of a crowbar found at the scene. As a result of detailed investigation, it was determined that the driver of the truck involved in the accident was a person named Sergey. As a result of long efforts, the person named Sergey was caught and detained at the airport where he went to go abroad. 
I am not guilty. I went to the airport just to see my family who lives abroad. I have nothing to do with this incident. Please release me. I have no reason to commit this kind of crime. I can't even hurt an ant, let alone kill a person. Let's we'll see if your fingerprints... Well, five, literally what happened, she just bought 300 copies. There was a receipt. She paid for them. She just bought 300 copies because she was like, I want to support my brother. I don't think there was any fraud. This one goes down here. go all right do we got fingerprints two one two one three five two two one two one three five two buddy your fingerprints are on the crowbar <sighs> messages between strangers on the person's phone what is the situation i have the bag now how much do you offer as we talked about 50 million i'm on it bruh yeah i'm saying didn't commit fraud Ooh, if Sergey receives any pus punishment, know this, Judge. I will not show you the light of day. This is my first and only warning to you. Think right and make the right decision. Is your life crappy like everyone else, or is it worth living? Think well. Crap, bro. Do I give him the punishment or not? Nah? I feel like I gotta do it. Then we'll take out a loan in order to get a better guard, I guess. Let's talk to him. Why did you run away after the accident? In my fear and panic at the time of the incident, I wanted to flee the scene because I was not sure if the person in the vehicle was alive. So why are you trying to flee abroad with the bag that was supposed to be in the vehicle? I found that bag next to the garbage container opposite my house, and since it looked very nice, I wanted to take the bag to my family. Yes, Five, seriously, stop that, bro. Do I need to give you a whole a whole spiel? Why are you doing that? No, that's not okay. Don't do that. Gosh, all I do up in here all the time, all I do up in here all the time is just like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, okay, good. I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of. But that's all I do up in here. Am I going to risk assassination? Bro, they're going to kill my family. What do we do? Oh, wait. I forgot to check what the what the punishment would be. He has no criminal record. Assassination and high treason. Yeah, that's execution, my guy. I'm pretty sure. 102 years in jail. Is crazy. 62 years in jail for no criminal record. 62 years. High treason. What's high treason? Where am I going to find that? Crimes against the state. High treason. Ooh, high treason's execution. R.I.P. Lecture? Yeah. All I do up in here is lecture people. Yeah, high treason, bro. Okay, am I risking it for the biscuit? Am I, am I, are we, are we giving him the punishment he deserves? Risking ours and our family's lives. <gasps> the baby wins. Hello, the handsome, handsome guy. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Do, 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 do. Full send. Full send. <laughs> oh, golly. Oh, 
Yoshis. Grr. We could die any day. I got $666. That's not good. I think I'm going to take out a loan, bruh. Because I feel like I need a guard. Do I? Maybe not. Nah, we're chill. We're fine. We don't need a guard. We're fine. We're fine. That is very true. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. We're not gonna die. We're fine. Who is this goober? 30%? Oh, that's nothing. 30% is fine. Winston? Girl be looking like a Winston. No criminal record. Everything looks good. Corruption. During the illegal prostitution and gambling raid carried out by the police at the hotel called Palace of Gorge at night, Winston was caught in the same hotel room with the money, with the many mafia members and Frudic Lanson, who is known to be one of the high-ranking managers of the mafia. Four mafia members and Winston, who were in the same room, were arrested, but Frederick Lanson, one of the high-ranking managers of the mafia himself, with his own pew-pew at the scene, seven women thought to be prostitutes, drugs, weapons, and one million dollars worth of cash were seized in the hotel room. You die from no money? No, but... I died from assassination, so I was thinking about getting a loan so that I could afford a better guard. That was my thought process. Winston said, I don't know why I'm in the hotel room. Earlier, I was drinking at the bar with a few friends and we got quite drunk. I remember asking my driver to take me home. I got in the car and opened my eyes in the hotel room. I was with women and men I didn't know. The police came and arrested us. I am not guilty. I'm a member of parliament. You are, you are, ex exist to serve us as police. How dare you question me and keep me waiting? Okay, well, you're spending life in jail just for your freaking tood, bruh. Just for your tood, you're going straight to jail, bruh. My goodness. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Wait, I don't want to do that. I want to move... Well, move this one over. This one. Uh, this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Okay. Sorry, this one takes me a hot minute. Just give it a sec. We'll get there. We'll get there, friends. One done. Just, just stand by, bruh. Stand by, stand by. Okay. Uh, this one and this one. Bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum bum ba da da do da da li da 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 dee 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 dee. Okay. Weapon seized. All these weapons. The money, the drugs. Digital evidence. Face recognition. Slay. I have a letter. Release Winston and accept the $750 we will give you. If you accept this offer, the rest of the money will come 
and you will live a comfortable life. Am I accepting that bribe? Corruption is a $10 million fine, bro. That is insane. What do we think? Are we accepting bribes? We can't accept bribes, bruh. No bribes. No bribes. Sucks to be you, Winston. 10 years, wait, was it 10 years in jail? And then 10, one, two, three, one, two, three. Wait, was it 10 years? Now I'm second guessing myself. Okay, it was. 10 years in jail, bruh. I don't accept bribes from no one. Not from the mafia, not from the cartel. No sirree. No bribes. W. Everybody likes my decision. Let's go. Fight with corruption increases. The government announced that it would fight corruption to the end. The identity of the mafia leader still remains as a mystery. a mystery okay we got Oliver Maskeen he has a criminal record everything else checks out three years ago a person named Oliver who was at the scene of the theft incident in an alley on Mumby Street was detained as a suspect and was sentenced to six years in prison in a trial recently a theft incident occurred again and the suspect was caught and taken into custody as a result, so did he already serve his six years? I'm confused. As a result of the suspect's statements, he stated that Oliver took responsibility for the crime for which he was convicted and that he actually committed the crime. The person named Frank, who took responsibility for the incident, was brought to the police station to be questioned. Wait, so there's multiple people taking responsibility? I'm confused. With the end of this month, I have completed my third year in prison. I tried to explain that I was innocent from the very beginning. However, because I was at the scene at the time and became the center of the target, I was sentenced to six years in prison. After all this time, I had the opportunity to redeem myself. I hope the process works correctly. Wait. Oh, I was trying to explain that I was innocent. However... Okay, so he's maintaining his innocence, I guess. Frank said, Three years ago, I had my eye on a house on Mumby Street. I broke in through her window and stole some items and jewelry. As I was leaving, I heard a noise and thought the landlord saw me. I asked someone passing by to hold what I had in my hand. I ran away. The man to whom I gave the materials was arrested before he realized what had happened. I was happy to be saved, but my conscience was troubled. Now that I've been caught, I ha I've confessed. You're locking in? Okay, lock in. Hmm, this one's tricky. There's no evidence? There's no evidences. Okay. It's just... His word against... Weird... Why was he sentenced to six six years in jail? That's crazy to me. So I'm just determining if we let this guy go or not. Cause I only have, I only have the paperwork for him, for Oliver. So I'm just determining if Oliver gets set free.
So are we letting him go? I guess I guess he's good. I think that he's I think he's good. There's no evidence, bruh. I'm releasing him. Plus, he spent three years in jail already, which is one more than he's supposed to even spend, so he did his time. Even if he did the crime, he already did the time, so hopefully he's a better person if he did it. Oh man. Do 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 Who is this Gooba? Oh, there's digital evidence. Okay. Patrick Mickey, no criminal record. He is an immigrant. Incitement to personal unaliving. A person named Tiffany recently committed by jumping from a rooftop of the Holden Town shopping mall. Although the citizens of the scene tried to persuade Tiffany not to do it, it was claimed that Patrick forced Tiffany to do it. Following the incident, the statements of the citizens were taken and the person named Patrick, who was alleged to be the instigator, was taken to the police and questioned. He says, first of all, I did not force anyone to do such a thing. At that moment, when I thought, like the others, was to dissuade... What I thought, like others, was to dissuade the woman from doing it. I thought about applying reverse psychology and told her to, <laughs> to jump. My request was that she should not do it. I am very sorry that this incident happened, but I do not consider myself guilty. There is a misunderstanding about my actions. I ask that you please believe me. Bro, what do you mean? No, don't do it. You're too young. Please, don't do this. Stay away from the railings. He said jump. I don't think this place is... This world is a good place to live. Girl said jump. I don't think this is a good place to live. I can't, bro. Patrick! Buddy, you can't just be. Oh, Patrick. Patrick. My guy, you can't just be doing that. Patrick should be punished no matter what. He is responsible for the death of the person I love most in this life. If you do this, I'll give you $500. Girls should be punished anyway. He do be looking like Kevin from the office. Girl. Girl, you can't just be saying this, bruh. And he's, they said he's mentally fine. I feel like I need some mental help. I'm not going to lie to you. Also, I need the money, Patty. So, sorry. Nah, that's crazy. Why would you say such a thing, bro? Why would you say such a thing? Me? I can't. The, they, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. They had already done the, the mental health assessment and determined he was of good mental health. That's not for me to decide. That's for them to decide. I was going to punish that goober anyway. Had nothing to do with your wife. Vacation 19. Girl, I don't got that money, bruh. We can't. Oh my gosh. I gotta go drink some whiskey on the rocks. Here we go. <laughs> Look, I it had nothing to do with the bribe, bro. Literally nothing to do with the bribe. First of all, what's this dude's haircut? What is this business? Second of all, I was going to punish that goober anyway, so the, bri the bribe was just a good plus. 
Leroy! No criminal record. He's fine. Emrick has a criminal record. And he's an immigrant. Oh, that guy was an immigrant. I should have deported him. Oopsies. Douglas. No criminal record. Did that mess up my... Oops. That's my bad. I just absolutely forgot about that. Hi, Wizwiz. Did you go upstairs for a little bit? Hi. What are you doing? Oopsies. I'm kind of selling. I think it's getting too late to play this game, bro. Okay. Arms trafficking and smuggling. Stop. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, bro. Look, here's the thing. I'm not taking bribes from the mafia or the cartel, but like a bribe from a heartbroken lover, like, how am I supposed to say no to that, you know? Police who received a tip off recently carried out an operation at the address specified in the tip. A large number of weapons and ammunition were seized during the operation. It has been concluded that the weapons and ammunition were manufactured at the specified address. Persons caught during the raid were detained. Leroy says, first of all, I would like to point out that I do not belong to any organization before the event. My friend Emrick called me and said he w had a workshop and I should come and see it. So I went to the house in the location he sent me. I couldn't hide my surprise when at what I saw next. I had not guessed that the products he produced could be weapons and ammunition. Afterwards, I told him that this was a crime. Okay, which one's Leroy? He has no criminal record. Okay. Um, the police came and I wanted to leave the workshop to avoid being affected by the situation. They detained me before I could explain the situation. Please understand me. I am innocent. Okay, Emmerich. That's this guy. He said, Douglas, a friend I had just met, invited me to his workshop, which he said belonged to him. When I asked him about the content of the workshop, he told me that it was an art shop. Since I love art very much, I was curious and went to see his workshop. I didn't know I would encounter something like this. Just as I was getting over my surprise and leaving the weapons workshop, police arrived. They detained him without giving him a chance to talk. I wanted to make it clear that I have nothing to do with this incident. And Douglas just said, I am not guilty of this incident. Thank you, Douglas. That's helpful. He said, those responsible for this incident are the individuals named Leroy and Emmerich. It's only been a few days since I met these people and they invited me to their workshop. I accepted their invitation, thinking it was an art shop. After entering the workshop, I was speechless at what I saw. When I wanted to leave the scene, police had come quickly, detained us, and I had, I have no connection with the workshop. We're going to need this evidence, bro. Hi, Wiz. Hello. Oh, this one always takes forever, too. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Oh, I messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Sorry, it's petting chiz. All right, let's look. Here are all the weapons. Great. Love it. Okay, text messages between the individuals. Leroy said, what happened about what about the shipment? Are there any problems with the weapons and ammunition? The shipment is going very well. There are no problems. What about the situation in the workshop? No problem. We will produce weapons and ammunition quickly and make them ready for shipment. Is everything all right? We're making good progress. We'll be ready for shipment. So they're all just big fat liars. They're all, they're all in on it, bruh. They all in on it. Yeah, you all in on it. Oh, wait, what is this for again? Corruption or something? I don't know. Arms trafficking and smuggling. Arms trafficking and smuggling. Uh. 
that's just drugs. Oh, traffic. No, drug trafficking. <laughs> uh, crimes against the state? No. Organized crime? Uh, no. Smuggling. Arms trafficking and smuggling. Okay, so one of them, 10 years and $100,000 for... Because one of them is, is, doesn't have, is not a criminal. Criminal record, none. Douglas doesn't have a criminal record. Okay, so Emmerich is the only one that gets the higher punishment, which is 16 years, 400,000. Emmerich. Guilty. 16 years... 400,000. 16 years. 16 years, 400,000. Okay, and then 10 years and 100,000 for the other two. Ten and 100,000. Perfect. And then same for this guy as well. Y'all be trying to pin it on each other. All these little goobers. Being crazy and dumb. Do, 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 do. Okay, I gotta go try and get my mental health up a little bit more again. Whiskey on the rocks, please. Thank you, ma'am. Nope, I'm good. All right. My drink is empty right here. Wait, why is this so high? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Why is my possibility of arrest so high? I don't know what I did wrong, bruh. I thought I was following the rule book. Oh. <laughs> Maybe mindless. Welcome back. Glad you're home. Uh, divorce case filed by Jennifer against her husband, Adam. Jennifer stated that she was subjected to violence by her husband, Adam, and filed a petition for divorce. Jennifer stated in her petition that the reason for the divorce was that the trust in her husband was shaken and that the promise her husband made to her as some marriage criterions were not fulfilled. Additionally, Jennifer stated that she was faithful to her husband throughout their marriage and did not have any difficulty in fulfilling his wishes. Okay, well, I fail to see how that's important for me to know, but thanks. Bruises and rashes due to impact in various parts of the body. Broken pinky finger. Oh gosh, bro. He needs to go to jail. Could you briefly explain the promises your husband made to you as a marriage criterion? My husband lied about many things, including our personal adult life. What issues in your personal adult life did he lie to you about? Bro, why do I need to know these, bruh? Your, your honor, Adam and I promised each other before we got married that we would not have relations. We would not have relations, and he lied to me about many things, including the size of his... Oh, Is your husband's size the reason you want to end the marriage? <laughs> not only that, when my husband did not enjoy our intimate relationship, he used violence against me without my consent and blamed it on his incompetence. Is it true that you used violence against your wife? My wife argued that my size was below average and she constantly used that against me once she threatened to tell this to my friends. That's absolutely insane. So I suggested that she could have relations with a friend of mine and that she could enjoy, so that she could enjoy our relations more. She said that she was open to it. She said this situation would not harm our relationship. She Then she asked me to watch them while she, oh my gosh. She said that this would increase her, oh my gosh. Why am I, why do I need all this information, bro? This is not, this is not, I don't, this, I don't need all of this. I'm just, I'm not your freaking marriage counselor, bro. 
In the face of his statement, I accepted his request, but while watching them, I succumbed to my anger and committed violence against my wife. I regret it very much. I love my wife very much, and I don't want to divorce her. Girl, what do I? What? What am I supposed to do in this situation, bro? What am I supposed to do in this situation, bro? I don't. Oh, my golly gee. Huh. Let's see what the options are, bro. Continuation of their marriage, no divorce and no alimony. Divorce and Adam's monthly alimony payment of a thousand. I think. Wait, no divorce and no alimony. Wait, how does that make sense? Does that mean divorce and al no alimony? Wait, I don't know if they made a typo or not, because is this not the same thing as the continuation of the marriage? I'm confused. I think I think that's what I want to do. I think it's just a typo. I think it's a typo. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Also, apparently I keep making mistakes. That's what I'm saying, Kappa. Bro, I'm gonna... I keep making mistakes. I'm gonna get arrested, bro. Look at this. I'm at 45%. I don't even know how that happened. I thought I was doing good, bro. Okay, Esteban. He has a criminal record. Okay, a person named Arturo Max, who thought that his vehicle was a mechan had a mechanical fault, took his vehicle to a repair shop called Regular Auto to detect the fix to detect and fix the problem. After two days, the repair shop notified Arturo Max that the repairs were completed and stated that he could take the take delivery of the vehicle. Arturo Max, who received the vehicle, wanted to sell the vehicle one week later. He received a report that the vehicle from the expert company. He received a report about the vehicle from the expert company before the sale. Yeah, he did. Oh no, yeah. So, um, he suggested that she get it on with one of his friends so that she would be happier in such way. Um, and she said, well, you should watch because I think that would help me feel better in such way. And so he was watching, but it just made him mad. And he ended up, in fact, hitting her, breaking her pinky finger. Anyway, I still don't think he should be paying alimony necessarily, but I don't know really how that works anyway. The person named Arturo Max, who saw that three parts of the vehicle were changed in the report, filed a lawsuit against the auto or the repair shop, which he held responsible. Okay. Um, the Arturo guy says, it's been about one month since I purchased my vehicle. Since the malfunction light came on, I took it to the repair shop called Regular Auto. They said there was a simple mechanical failure in the vehicle. They repaired and delivered the vehicle with two days. Within two days afterwards, I decided to sell the vehicle and applied for, applied for an expert. Bro, why in the world? <laughs> it's actually a rubber banana duck. Thank you very much. Hi get it he needs to play right now apparently <laughs> hold on I'll try and get it and show you again it's one of his favorite toys um actually I think it's more of like a banana dog than a duck um why would you buy a car and then sell it within a month that doesn't make sense anyway um the expert report revealed that there were three changed parts 
this is not possible because I bought the vehicle from the dealer with zero kilometers. I think it was replaced at the repair shop. When the vehicle... Okay, this is Esteban, the repair shop guy. Give it to me! I'm trying to show... I'm trying to show... You stink, bro. See, it's like a banana, but it has a little dog face. It's a little... He's a little messed up. But there you go. Okay. Thank you, Wiz. Okay. <laughs> we were just fighting with it the whole time. Okay. When the vehicle came to us, the malfunction light was on. We said we could fix it and deliver it in a day or two, and we did. We were very surprised when he received a notice that a lawsuit had been filed against us. We did not remove or replace any parts from the vehicle. We think that the victimization is due to the irresponsibility of the vehicle owner. These accusations are great slander against the reputable corporate company like us. He does have a criminal record, though, so I don't know. Seemingly a little sus. Let's look at the facts. Except for these facts kind of be a pain in the butt sometimes, not gonna lie. They don't be helpful a lot of the time. Okay. So, expertise report from the vehicle when it was purchased. Okay, all original. And then appraisal after repair. These are the fake parts, I guess. Okay. The invoice from regular auto. This doesn't really, like, prove too much. I don't know where to go with this, bro. Let's talk to him. You stated that the problem was caused by irresponsibility of the vehicle owner. Can you explain more what that means? Your Honor, we're a large company that repairs on average 50 vehicles a day. We are not the addressee of such an accusation. The reason I say this is because the vehicle owner does not care enough about his vehicle. Could you explain a little bit more? I think he may have experienced um, this grievance at he may have experienced this grievance at any repair shop he took the vehicle to before. I recommend to him I recommend him to choose the repair shop he takes his vehicle to more carefully. Yeah, I guess so. So I guess this was all original and then after the repair, parts were faked out. Okay. I trust you, you're the mechanical one fraud okay is he okay i need to start checking if they're immigrants okay no he he is good here okay fraud is four years in jail that seems so excessive but it is what it is i guess We made a bad, that wasn't the right decision. That wasn't the right decision, bro. What did I do wrong? It made, it made my, it made my arrest go up to 50. Glad I didn't get arrested. Is there a way that I can fix that, bro? How did I make the wrong decision, bro? No, I know what I did. I gave him the... I, he had a criminal record. I had to give him the aggravated um, sentencing, not the regular sentencing. Dang it, bro. See, this is what I keep doing. I gotta... I think I gotta get off this game. Because I think I'm too tired, I keep making these mistakes, bro. I think I keep making these dumb mistakes. I gotta, I gotta get off. Because I keep doing that. I keep doing dumb things like that. Like, there was one guy that was an immigrant. I was supposed to deport him. That's part of why I have, bruh. 
No, it's okay. It's not on you. That's definitely on me. That's on me. Definitely, definitely my bad. Definitely my bad. Definitely on me. Oh, man. That's so sage, bro. So sage. Anyway, mindless, how are you feeling? Has your evening got any better at all? I have. I have it. We could play it another day if you want. I totally, I totally still have it. I love That's Not My Neighbor. It's a vibe. I like it. Is this? <gasps> Big Bird's still alive. We can go raid him. Yes, whenever you're around, Mindless, if you want to play it, let me know. We can totes play it. I love it. Yeah, that's fair, Mindless. I get that. I have those days. Don't get me wrong. I I, I know it all too well, hun. I know it all too well. Tomorrow's a new day, though. You're going to get some sleep. Tomorrow's going to be a new day. No, you're good, Five. No worries. No worries. Sometimes there's slow days, and that's okay. Sometimes there's slow days, and that's okay. But yeah, mindless. Just let me know whenever whenever you're around, and I'm like, hmm, what should we play? Just like, let me know. We could totes play it. I love it. I love it. It's super fun. Super duper. Super duper fun. Friday? Sure. What day of the week is it right now? Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Well, I guess technically Thursday now, but yeah, let's do it. I'm so down. Let's do it, do it, do it. All right, friendies. Ah, let us get some rest, I suppose. Let's go to sleep. Love you all. I'm going to go put eye drops in my eyes, too, because it's still bugging me. Good night, Mindless. Good night, Five. Good night, anybody else that's lurking up in here. I really appreciate you. I hope that you... Oh, Chiz, you could say hi. Chiz is coming to say good night. Chiz comes to say good night, too. Good night, good night. Love you guys so much. And chat if you're there, for real. We got lurkers tonight, which is good. We love the lurkers. We love them. All right, say good night, Wiz. Get some blue light glasses. I should. It's not. It's not that. It's um. I have like. It feels like there's something in my eye. Oh, you made a noise. That was concerning. Okay. Good night, everybody. Love you. Love you. Sleep well, Ote. Sleep well, friends. Kisses, hugs. Yeah. It might be allergies. It might be like I got makeup up in there. Maybe I don't know. I just think I want to flush it out. It'll be fine. It's not a big deal. I have allergy eye drops, so I'll just put some in. It'll be fine. No biggie. No biggie. Good night, friends. Mwah. Sleep well. Have a great day tomorrow. You guys are the best. I will be back here again tomorrow. Same time. Love you. Love you. See you later. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>